Good morning, I'm Polarized Moon, and welcome to Exoptable Money. Now, this is the prequel, or I guess it's it, what came before uh, Presentable Liberty. And I know next to nothing about it. Um, uh, money machine. Okay, I have nothing. Okay, oh. Hello? Oh, I see. So do I just keep... So I just let that go. Is that how that works? Okay, so... <clears throat> at 10 I can get the Money Machine version 2. Okay, so this is like a, a click, uh... What do you call it? Like a cookie clicker type game? I love cookie clicker. Oh my gosh, that would be so boring to watch on the channel though. I mean, seriously. I mean, unless I get like a really long game of it going. Um... That'd be, that, that could be fun, though, for, like, a live stream or something. I don't know. You guys all have to tell me what you want to see. Oh, here we go. Uh, Money Machine version 2. Mailbox. <clears throat> Madame Sinclair. Hello. Um, well, hello to you, too, I guess. That's, uh, that, that's, that's kind of sure. Oh, so am I Dr. Money this time? Is that, is that what's going on here? Tin can, backgrounds, cat, coins, topaz. I want a cat. I want a cat. I love kitties. Uh, Bill's version 2. I can get that at 50. Uh, oh, look, I can save. I'm just gonna be playing as much of this as I can in one sitting. That'll be, that'll be fun to watch, right? I mean, we'll, we'll just have a nice little, uh, a nice little smooth, calm, relaxing chat here. And as far as I know, this doesn't get super depressing at the end of it. Uh, let's go Bill's version 2. Yeah, look at that. Madame Sinclair. <clears throat> I am Madame Sinclair. I, I kinda, I kinda got that. Um, okay, so I have to wait for 100 to get the Money Machine version 3. Okay, so this is, this is your pretty average, um, click, clicker game. Uh, I think they're just called clicker games, aren't they? I mean, cause like, you have your, uh, it's like a coin clicker or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, you've got like your, uh, your, what their other ones, like cow clickers. It's kind of like that, but this is more just kind of waiting. Oh, here we go. We're almost at 100. Then we can get my money machine version 3. I wish I had a money machine. Uh, 500, 300. Is there a way that I can make this go faster? So if I stop this, does it... Nope. So if I keep doing this, does it... Do I help this along? I'm not really sure how this works. Um, either way, I seem to be getting there pretty quickly. So, uh, how are you guys doing? How's, how's your day been? Uh, excuse me while I uh, take a sip of my water here. I do have a little bit of a sore throat, so... Uh, Forgive me for that. Um, how's your Friday been so far? I know there's a couple of you guys who uh, look forward to seeing this during your lunch hour, which I think is pretty fantastic. Um, especially since this, these games are always different. They're always the one thing I like about my casual Friday videos is I get to lay back and sometimes I just get to do whatever. I mean, I've done scary games and I've done sad, depressing games and I've done games like this where it's just like a coin clicker type game. A lot of a lot of times it's like action arcade games which you know are pretty fun to watch. And it looks like we're running up here on 300 so I can get the Bills Bills version 3. And yeah, there we go. Um <clears throat> Madame Sinclair. I see you are making money. Yes, yes I am. I am making all the money. I am making money to spare. And I my my hair is being very floofy today. I mean, look at this. <laughs> ah. Sometimes I can't control this hair at all. It does whatever it feels like doing. Especially on casual Fridays, because I don't comb it or anything. I just let it go. I let it do whatever it wants to. Oftentimes, I'll, I'll still get this little hangy doodly dit there. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to check to see how much, uh... How much I need for the next one. 500. 
Uh, I hope this starts going faster because uh, we're, we're just gonna have this nice conversation going in here. Uh, who knows, I might cut some of this out. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, what's some good things to talk about while we're waiting for my, my money machine to get me some better bills? Um, hmm. Just cl clicker games in general, maybe? Uh, I've played, I've played Cookie Clicker, which I feel like is the quintessential variation of that. I haven't played in a really long time. Uh, I played it on my old computer, which, was, what is the background of this? It's like spider webs or something. It's kind of creepy. Oh, 500. I made it to the, the amount that I need. There we go. Perfect. Uh, 1,000 looks like. Coins. Then I'll get some coins. Why are the coins more expensive than the bills? Ah, uh, who knows. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll, we'll find out when, when things come. But I haven't played it, uh, much lately because, uh, I used to play it on my old computer. And my old computer could basically only handle Cookie Clicker. And even that, it had some trouble. Um, yeah, that was, that was a ridiculous game. It was really fun, though. I mean, really addicting, also. I remember watching, um, some old playthrough with Markiplier, and they were talking about Mark playing Cookie Clicker while they were playing games. It's like, oh, I've got that up on my other computer over here, and it was pretty interesting to talk about, because that was right about the time I was addicted to Cookie Clicker. And I know if I get back into Cookie Clicker, I know I'm gonna, like, ad get addicted to it again. Huh, this is nice to just sit and talk to you guys. I don't really know what you guys are trying to say back, but I can, uh, I can come up with something. Um, those, some of these monies are folding like they are flying around. I don't know if, uh, clicking this is gonna change anything. It might? I don't know. Uh, oh, is there a full screen option? Well, either way, I've already got this, uh, under wraps here. Um, we got question mark things. Help get this game onto Steam. Is it not on Steam? I don't know, I didn't get it on Steam, so... Um, I'll have a link to the description- I'll have a link in the description of where I got this game, if I remember. If not, remind me, because that'll be a thing. This is gonna be a really long and just relaxed playthrough. Would you guys like to know, uh, let's see, something good to talk about here. Um... How I, uh, let's- oh, let's talk about how I- how I decide games to play. So, I have this big list of games that I, I want to play for my channel. And a lot of them are games I personally want to play myself, and a lot of them are games that you guys have asked me to play. And if those two things are on the same, like my list of games that I personally want to play- Oh, I can get coins. Ooh, coins. Um, <clears throat> I used to make money too. Oh, look at that. Things are going up much faster now. Um, what, 2,000 is my next bet? Yeah, two grand. So, uh, if, if my list of personal games that I want to play, and there's, and my list of games that you guys have, uh, requested that I play, um, the ones that are on the top of that list, on, are the ones on, on both of them are the ones I play next. And then I usually go towards the ones you guys want me to play, if I have a copy of it. If not, I will fall back onto the list of games I want to play. Um, also, I do, I do want to play, there's a lot of games that I've already played on my channel, but I feel like playing games that I've already played is kind of boring to watch, because, I don't know, it's not as genuine of a reaction, at least that's how I feel myself. So that, those are the games that I'll be playing with other people. Um, for the most part, it's, uh, Lunavir, because we live in the same house together, so, uh, that makes it a little easier to, to play games with someone who I've already played games, you know things like that. And a lot of them, well, except for Undertale, but Undertale was really fun to just have multiple people there and, you know, be able to voice act and do a little bit of that, experience it together, that's really fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, the games that I, the games that I do play, I do want to play, I do want to play, like, a lot of, uh, old Sonic games and Sega games and old Mario and old Legend of Zelda. I don't know if I'm going to play the first Legend of Zelda game, um, I've never played it before. I might start with, I don't know, Link to the Past, because Link to the Past is my personal favorite game, uh, not game total, my favorite uh, Legend of Zelda game. 
And then, oh, I'm at 2,000 here. There we go. Um, what's three grand next? Yeah, oh. Oh, 1,000 is the cat. I could have gotten the cat a while ago. I wasn't even paying attention. Um, so we'll get the cat next. Yay, I love kitties. Eee. I used to have a kitty. Um, I am slightly allergic to cats, though. <laughs> which is really funny because, um, I, I, like, love cats. Cats are so cute and they're adorable and they're fluffy. And cats really love me. But I have a very slight allergy to them. It's not, like, really bad. It's kind of like if I'm around a cat for a very long period of time, I'll start getting nasally and, you know, stuff will... I'll, I'll start swelling up a little bit, so I just have to leave the room for a while. But we had a cat in the house here, and it used to like to sleep on my pillow when I was sleeping. And I'd wake up and I'd just be all mazely and... Aw, kitty! <clears throat> Are you my friend? I am your fr Oh no, is this gonna turn into that other- Oh, I can click my cat to look for money. Cool! What? That's a creepy looking red X there. Uh, backgrounds... Okay, well, my cat can go look for money for me. That's fantastic. Um, where was I? I was talking about my cat he used to sleep on the pillow, and I would wake up in the morning, and I never noticed the cat, because the cat would always lay on my pillow before I fell asleep, and then leave before I woke up. I'd wake up, and I'm like, Oh, I can't breathe. Ah, I'm gonna die. And then next to, on the pillow, next to my pillow, the other pillow next to my pillow, there was, like, cat hair all over it. <laughs> and I'd be like, Oh, that's why I feel like I'm gonna, you know, not be able to breathe for the rest of my life. That's a thing. Oh, we're getting money pretty quick. So how long does it take this cat to get back and bring me money? We'll, uh, we'll see here. Tin can. Oh, wow. Some of these are, like, super far away. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know how fast money starts stacking up. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Can I... This... Oh, I think that does slow it down if I turned off. I guess I should just leave that on, then. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. This isn't like Cookie Clicker, where you could actually click the cookie and make, make your own cookies. There was a point, though, when, uh clicking the cookie actually did nothing <laughs> for you. <laughs> uh, man, that was a that was a long time ago. That was like over a year ago. Oh man, I'm almost almost a year into my channel now. What, two months from now I'll have been a, you, I guess, a YouTuber for a year now? That's a long time. Look how much I've grown! I've got my own lights and I've got a backdrop here that actually looks pretty nice. I do need to iron it, I feel like. It's not the best, but, uh, I've got the same microphone and I dual monitors now. I mean, seriously, my, uh, my headphones, I need to get a new pair of headphones, though. Because 3,000. Uh, okay, what's net? Five grand for either one of these. I feel like the coins would probably be better off. Hey, for backgrounds. I don't know what the backgrounds do for me. How long does it take this cat to to bring me money. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's something I need to wait. Oh, your cat has found 2,000 monies. Oh, yay, good kitty. Oh, look at that. That's gonna, that's going to expedite my, my money making really quickly. Man, that's really cool. This is kind of, uh, um, this does remind me a lot of Cookie Clicker, except for, I bet, I doubt there's, like, evil grandmas here. But, you know, if you want to start a channel, go for it. I mean, don't worry about what other people say. I mean, if you really want to do it, or if you want to try it, and it, you know, something you want to try, just go for it. Don't, don't, um, don't, don't try to make things, or try to make it as best you can, because if you just try it and do it, you'll get better. I mean, I, seriously, I'm not all that entertaining to pay, to watch or pay attention to. What is that on my camera? kind of got like a oh no it's supposed to be like that never mind uh, <laughs> I'm not all, I don't feel like I'm all that entertaining to pay attention to or watch but you know a lot of you guys do and I especially some of my old videos I watch those and I'm super cringy about it uh, let's try to get some of these coins of version 3 oh 10 grand for coins now oh hello Madame Sinclair 
Um, nothing. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't feel as attached to Madame Sinclair, Sinclair as I was the people in Exploitable Money. I feel ex, 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 exploitable money. That's not even exoptable. Exoptable. Um, quiz here. Do you know what exoptable means? Exoptable means like, uh, hold on. It means like something you really want, like something really desirable. So, as you can see here, exoptable money would be really desirable money, and I want that money to continue my my control of the world. And I guess if I am Dr. Money, which I guess is possible, then I might be creating a virus to destroy the world. <laughs> Who knows? I guess I might be the bad guy here. Um, I guess then it would be a lot like Cookie Clicker, because in Cookie Clicker you release ancient grandmas from the depths of the universe to turn everything into cookies. I don't know. That game gets pretty creepy towards the end. Um, yeah. Now, if you guys, you know, if you don't, if you don't think you have the talent to... 4,000 monies? Oh, I should have gotten you earlier. Oh my gosh. That cat is fantastic. Um, ooh, I can get new backgrounds. There we go. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I forgot to write something on my last letter. Well, that's perfectly okay. Oh, that's... that's Illuminati. Uh, ooh, that one's pretty. Uh... Let's go with this one. Look at that. It's a nice... I don't know, it looks like a tree with light shining through it. That's very beautiful. That's... that's... that's pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. Um, I don't know if that was actually <laughs> worth, uh, spending the eight grand on it, but I have it, so... That's a thing. We'll, uh, we'll see how that turns out for me in the future. Um, I guess that's just to spruce up the background a little bit. Um, yeah, you'll, you'll get better. You'll get, you'll get a lot better at making videos. You'll, you'll, f you'll, you'll kind of have a feeling of knowing how to talk and what to say and things like that as you get, as you go along. Um, I've, I've noticed that personally, when I first started, a lot of my videos, I had to cut out a ton because there was a chair isn't saying it right. There's a, there was a lot of spaces when I just said nothing for minutes on end while I was recording. And I've noticed that, especially the, the RuneScape series, the original RuneScape series was, like, cut a lot. There was huge swaths of space where I said nothing, so I had to cut out a ton. I would record, like, a half hour of game, and then it would be cut down to, like, 10 to 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. Sometimes I'd cut out a ton. And then, later on, the later stuff, I had barely had to cut out any at all. And sometimes I never had to cut out anything. Which I think is fantastic, personally, for me, because that shows that I am more comfortable on camera. Also, that's another thing. If you're feeling uncomfortable on camera, just being in front of the camera more often is, uh, you know, really nice to, you know, that help you, help you along with that. Uh, YouTube, YouTubing has helped me a lot, personally, because I am a very introverted person. And... You know, get, getting and talking to all you you guys. Do I have enough to get something else? Yes, I do. Yeah, there we go. Faster money. Haha. <laughs> but talking talking to you guys in the comments and everything, it really helps me personally with my uh, social insecurities and things like that. Because... Oh, kitty. 6,000 monies. Oh, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. There we go. Look at that. Uh, Madame Sinclair. Do you want to learn about a new way to make money? Uh, sure, I guess. Um, what do I need now? 10,000 for the cheapest thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, looks like I'm gonna learn a new way to make money. But, yeah, um, I, I am a very introverted person. I'm actually, I don't know, that might be why I'm scared of telephones or something, I'm not sure. That, that's just an innate thing I have. But I used to, like, when I was a, when I was younger, I would not talk at all. I'd sit in the back of class, I wouldn't say anything, other kids, you know, would think I was weird and picked on me a little bit, but now I know that to embrace my weirdness, it did, you know, my, my hair, just go poof, let it do whatever. You guys like it when I do weird things on camera because it's funny. I mean, you know, every, everybody's weird in their own little way. You know, embrace it, you know, if you're, if you have a weirdness inside yourself, just let it go and do whatever. 
I don't care what other people say. I, I, yeah, I, I kind of became less caring of what people said about me, you know, the negative things, and that's another one of the things that helps me get through my social insecurities. I just, I, you know, if, if somebody doesn't like me, I don't care. I mean, I'd, I'd like for people to like me, but if I don't know them very well, you know, you can, you can not like me, that's perfectly fine. Just don't watch my videos, I guess. <laughs> uh, how much did I need? Ten grand? For my next little bit here? Ten, ten grand. I guess this is kind of like a little bit of a, I don't know, podcasty type thing going on here. This is going to be a nice, long, relaxed, relaxed video. And I do need ten grand for my next one. So I want to click that cat as quick as possible because every single time it goes, it brings back more and more monies, which is great for me. Um, hmm. So yeah, um, you don't don't even need a good camera. I mean, a better camera would be great, and a better computer would be great. And I need a better computer personally because some of my games I can't play. I tried to play Goat Simulator. And I can play it perfectly on my computer, but as soon as I try to record it, it does not work. I can play it fine, but yay! My cat has found 10 grand monies. Perfect. Oh, I've got 20. I can just go right for a topaz. Cool. Oh, awesome. Look at that. That's pretty. They look like teardrops. I always like topazes. Um, actually, diamond is my birthstone. Actually. My birthday is tax day in the United States. Um, it's April 15th, and that's coming up here sometime. I'll have to do some special video for my birthday. That'll be fun. I don't know, maybe um, put my dog in a hat or something. I did. We did finally name the dog, I think. It might stick. Uh, Kuiper, like the Kuiper belt, you know, in space, the thing where all the meteors come from. He has a little, um, like a shooting star looking thing on his chest. Uh, so we kind of aimed towards that name. We could have done Comet or Aster or something, but I think Kuiper is a pretty decent name. It fits him pretty well. He seems to, well, he hasn't learned it yet because we just gave it to him. And he's still only six months old, so uh, that's pretty fun. He's a cute, cute little guy. <laughs> he's so adorable. Also, oh, that little clanging noise from the, let's, let's change up the background here. Let's go to this creepy uh, hand trees one. What other game had hand trees in it? Um, I think there was another game that had hand hand trees that I was playing recently, or maybe it was a movie or something. I don't even remember. But they had like trees. Oh, I remember what it was. It was like the background story in uh, in Fern Gully. Yeah, in Fern Gully, they had like. All the trees were made out of hands in the background, like in the his past stories. I don't remember if that was in the introduction or... I need to watch that movie again. I love that movie. Oh, look at that. Here we go. And... Cha-ching! Oh, hello. <clears throat> I saw a cat today. Awesome. Was it my cat? I think it was my cat. Yay! <laughs> That was my cat, probably. I love cats. Okay, what- oh. I still need to get to 10,000, I think, to get to, uh... My Money Machine version 6. Five grand for that. I wonder what the tin can does. It seems like it might be more, uh, more important than the backgrounds. I mean, backgrounds are nice and all. Oh! This is the background that's on the thing. In the dealio. Fantastic. Um, yeah. So, uh, where was I? Fern Gully. I love Fern Gully. Tim Curry. Ooh. Tim Curry was great in that movie. So was Robin Williams. Um, but Tim Curry is one of those voices I wish I had. I mean, I'd be I'd be doing actual voice acting. I mean, I, I've done a couple of voice roles here and there for just YouTube stuff. Um, one a long time ago, like six years ago that I can't quite remember. I played a Russian guy who always spoke in... Uh, he spoke in redundancies. That was pretty fun. I don't remember what video it was for, but it was pretty fun. Um, and then something I did recently for a game that's may or not come out, I'm not sure. Um, I did like a PA system voice. That was pretty cool. Uh, 
Uh, money machine. There we go. <clears throat> Did you know that cats have more than have more uses than you would expect? I think I did. I, I know that now, because my cat is out there getting money. It's fantastic. It's doing great. My, my cat really knows how to find money. I wish my cats... I wish my animals were that good at... I wish I was that good at finding money. I mean, seriously. Maybe I need to uh, start investing. You know what the best thing to invest in is? Tennis balls. Because they have a very high rate of return. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bad joke. Or a good joke, I'm not sure. We'll find out when you guys, uh... Tell me, or in the comment section below. Who knows? Um... Oh, I'm si I'm starting to get money really fast now. 5,000... 15... Uh... So it looks like 15 is what my next one. That's coming up pretty darn quick here. I have a feeling like I'm gonna get these pretty soon. Maybe after I get the tin can? I'm not quite sure. Oh, I can only imagine what these are. I wonder if one of these is like the virus or something. I have a feeling that's probably what one of these is. If if this is part of the same story. Cause the other one did say sequel of sorts. Does does anybody else see those like eyes down here? They look like eyes on my screen. It's kinda creepy, because we got eye here, eye here, nose. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if I turn it upside down? I don't know. Who knows? It's kind of creepy looking box. Do I get... Do I get a... Bills? Version 7? Or am I at... Yeah, okay. And Bills, look at that. 3, 3, 5... So it looks like... 30 grand... 30 grand... 50s, 50... 50. It looks like I'm 30 is the next one. Fantastic. Oh, that cat should come back soon. Uh, I don't know if this gets if this gets too long and long and uh, I run out of things to say. I might just you know let let time go and cut out bits. But who knows? I feel like there's a story here that uh, might explain a little bit more of what happened in um, Presentable Liberty. Which, uh, I understand the name, um, because you had liberty, obviously, because you had no liberty because you were in the, in the cell, and it was presented to you, obviously, as kind of a straightforward title. I mean, this one's pretty, this one's even more straightforward than that one. I uh, hope that my drinking isn't too loud. Uh, where are we at? One, what, where's that cat? I need that cat. The cat's gonna come back with, like... 20 grand and it's gonna be fantastic. I'm just gonna be able to buy something immediately. Who knows? Uh, 30... Yeah, if I get 30, I'm gonna just be able to buy something. I wanna get the tin can! Um... Well, I have topazes and stuff. I, I feel like the tin can, once I get the tin can, it's gonna unlock other things. I have a feeling. Maybe? Maybe I have to get a certain amount of everything. I don't know. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, I've been going on about a year now, almost. You know, just under 10 months. I've got 400 videos under my, on my channel now. That is a lot. I mean, I got 500 subscribers. I've been pretty stagnant at, five, like, 515 subscribers. But I'm okay with that because, you know, you guys, you guys like to watch my stuff. At least some of you do. Um, the ones who do watch my stuff all the time, you've got, you guys have been really supportive, which I think is fantastic. Um... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I would appreciate it if you guys could, like, I don't know, tell your friends and family about it, but, I mean, if you don't, that's a, no big deal to me. I mean, if I never make it big on YouTube, that's completely okay. I mean, 20, I need to make 30, right? Here we go. I mean, I do treat this like a job, which, because I'm sitting here at my computer hours and hours every day. I mean, it, you, I'm getting better at editing though, because like, for it used to be for like every hour that I recorded, I had I had to sit down for like five hours and do editing and stuff. But now it's a lot faster. It's more like for every hour that I record, I have to edit for like two hours, and I I've gotten better at making thumbnails, and I'm actually upgraded my thumbnails just recently, because it used to be like I'd make a thumbnail, 
and then it would just be the same thumbnail with a different number attached to it. But now I've been adding things onto them, because I'm feeling more confident about my skills at making thumbnails and things like that. My titles have been better, I hope, maybe. Who knows? Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to figure out what I want to do for my, my one year anniversary here on YouTube. That's coming up here quickly, wow. Man, that's been a long time. It feels... feels like I started YouTube yesterday. Kind of. Sometimes. Who knows? I mean, that's a, that's a thing. I've had a couple of streams that were semi -se cat fur. Um. 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 Fur is expensive. Oh my gosh. You can sell your cat's fur for lots and lots of money. You're welcome. Just put your cat's body into the machine and voila. Okay. Um. Okay, that... That took that somewhere that I wasn't expecting. Does that mean my cat's not coming back? Oh, I love that cat. Oh, maybe that's why that cat didn't come... Oh my gosh, my cat's gone! Oh. Well, at least I hope that wasn't my cat. I feel like that was my cat. Okay, either way, I'm not, I'm not super upset about it. I didn't have that much of an attachment to that cat, but the cat was making me so much money. Or finding me so much money, I guess. Do I have to do that? I feel like I have to do this. What, 20 grand for that? That's the cheapest one, too. Ah, uh, it's probably gonna up my... Up my money-making intake really fast. Ugh. Man, some things people do for money. There's a lot of things that people do for money that I would never do. I mean... There's... Then again, there's a lot of people. Do, there's a lot of things people do with money that I would never do. I mean, seriously, if I won the lottery, I would like pay off my my debt, pay off my parents' debt, pay off my fiance's debt, get married, buy a house, upgrade my YouTube stuff, and then save the like invest the rest of it. I mean, oh, I can do the cat thing now. Uh Oh, there's cat bits. Oh my gosh, that's just... Okay. Oh wow, things are going up a lot faster. They are going up faster. Oh my gosh, that's just... That's just messed up. That's messed up. Oh, and it's like... Okay. 50... 50 grand for... I think I should try to save for the tin can, maybe? I'm not sure if that's what I want to be doing, but I feel like... I feel like that's my best bet. I'll save for the tin can. We'll... We'll have another little chat. What other topics can I talk about? My hair? My... My goatee? I... Don't shave on Fridays. Or Thursdays. I, sometimes I don't shave for a couple days, but... I usually trim up when it gets about this length. But, you know, for Friday videos, I just... Let it be. Because it's casual Friday, we're just gonna sit back and be casual and I'm gonna not tap my- oh, I have more space here than I realize. <laughs> so, how are you guys doing? Are you guys doing fine? I think I've asked that like five times in this video. Who knows? <laughs> Let's see. That hand in the back actually kind of reminds me of Gravity Falls. Oh, Gravity Falls. Have you guys seen the Gravity Falls finale? Oh my gosh. I was, like, before the Gravity Falls finale aired, there were rumors going around that somebody was going to die, and I was like, oh no, who's it going to be, and then all that kind of stuff, and then it kind of happened. I mean, I don't I don't want to, I don't want to spoil anything, but it, it made me tear up a little bit. But that show in general is really good, and they, ha they have it set up so that, uh, let me get closer to the camera here, they have it set up so that there's a possibility for a sequel to come in, I mean, on two fronts, because you've got you could have, or three even, I guess. You could have, like, 
the stand the stand thing for those of you who know what I'm talking about the stand thing and then for those of you who, you know and then you could have the part that stays at the shack or you could follow the story of the the, the twins any of the three of those would be really cool and if there were ever a Gravity Falls game, like a full-fledged Gravity Falls game, I would totally buy it and play it on my channel. That would be fantastic. I, I, I wouldn't hesitate a single second. But I do know there are some, you know, Gravity Falls games, but they're just little games here and there on, like, what is it, the, the website? Yeah, and, oh, here we go. Um, Tin Can. See, you're making so, so much money now. Yeah. Um, what does this tin can do? I'm not entirely sure. Uh. Um, I'm not sure what the tin can does. Uh. Okay, well, I guess that's a thing. I guess we go back to our regularly scheduled pick a... pick a topic thing. Oh, I don't get the cat anymore. Oh, that's so sad. Pfft. Um, yeah, I love Gravity Falls. Oh my gosh, that, that's fantastic. I love, I love how... It kind of reminds me of, uh... It's like a kid's version of Twin Peaks, from what I've heard. I've never actually watched Twin Peaks, but I, <laughs> I feel like it'd be something I'd watch. Right now, I'm stuck on uh, Gotham and Lucifer, which happen to be on the same night, which they are fantastic. They just introduced uh, Mr. Freeze into Gotham. Oh my gosh, his, his, his character arc was really good. And... Uh, Man, it, it really felt a lot like the original um, Mr. Freeze storyline with the whole his the, the reason he's a bad guy is because he's trying to save his wife, and then he has some accident with the uh, cryogenic stuff, which they oh I can get another thing. There we go. Oh hello. Oh from the desk of Doctor Money. I'm not Doctor Money. Top secret. I regret to inform you that of a recent new east-west con conflict rising, in the interest of the economy, we ask you kindly for money. Um... No? What does this do? What does the tin can do? I... I don't know what the tin can does. The, the tin can. Uh, can tin... tin can? Can it can... can can a tin can can? Can... da 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 <laughs> oh, my jokes are bad. Oh my gosh, my jokes are so bad. I mean, there's not much to play off. Oh, what was that noise? What was that noise? Let's, uh, let's switch to this greenish, colorful background here. What, 5,000 is the next one that I can get? Yeah. So, at 5,000, I'll get more cat paws, I guess. Oh, that's so awful. Don't put your cats into a money machine. Don't put your cats into any kind of machine, actually. Don't put don't put animals into machines. Just period. That's 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 a bad idea. <laughs> from uh public service announcement from Polarized Moon. People say I have a, a really soothing voice. Not not really sure if that's true, but uh you know, to each their own, I guess. I mean some of you might just like listening to me talk here. I'm not really uh, talking about the game much because there's not really much to talk about in the game. I mean, I'm making a bunch of money. It's a uh, it's a cookie clicker esque game. I've said that a billion times now. I'm kind of repeating myself. Where was I? Gotham. That's right. I was talking about Gotham. Um, I love Penguin. When I fir a lot of these characters in this like the first time I saw them. It's like when I first saw Penguin, he was kind of lanky and skinny. I'm like, that's not Penguin. Penguin's supposed to be like this short, stout guy with a top hat. And, but, I I really love this incarnation of the Penguin. And the Riddler, the Riddler personally is probably my favorite Batman villain. As you guys knew from my previous, <coughs> my previous, uh, my Halloween cosplay of the Riddler playing, what was it, There Is No Game? I, <laughs> I made the whole get up after I found a green, um, 
I found a green uh, suit top. Oh, and I can get more cats. Oh, that does not make me feel good. Whew. But their incarnation of the Riddler is really good. The whole, um, like the split personality thing, that's, that's, that's really good. Um, yeah, and I think it's fantastic. And Mr. Freeze, that was awesome. And his whole, uh, the, the freeze gun, the special effects on that were really great. And the whole picking the bullet off of the, oh, that was great. And then, uh, uh, Lucifer is actually a DC Comics, uh, property also. Um, it's a spin-off of, like, Sandman, which is old as all balls. Um, which I believe is also kind of tied into, like, uh, I think that's tied into, like, Constantine, which I know the Constantine show got cancelled, but they picked up, from what I've heard, they picked up the Constantine character on Arrow, which was fantastic, um, from what I've heard. Um, I haven't, I I've seen, like, four episodes, like, the first four episodes of Arrow, and, like, the first two episodes of The Flash, which, I think they're fantastic, I just haven't gotten around to sitting down and watching them yet. Um, I love comic book movies. I just recently went to, uh, I just recently went to go see, I went to go see Deadpool the day before, like, the pre-release, like, the day before. That was fantastic, that was I mean, I, I agree with kind of I kind of agree with Jacksepticeye that there was a little bit of a patient pacing issue, but other than that, they nailed the character. And the sequel is gonna have uh, K, uh, Cable in it. That's gonna be cool. Okay, do I have enough for another? I think yeah, I can get Topaz Topaz's. Is... Oh, hello, from the desk of Doctor Money. Just send us a letter with the money so the economy can be breathe new air and breathe new money. We are waiting. Yeah, um, I don't have the money to do that. I don't even have an option to do that. Well, I guess, I guess if you just have a money-making machine, people are gonna ask you for money. That's kind of how things go. Um, I remember there was this joke going around way back when the, the DS was first made, like the Nintendo DS. It was like 10 years ago now. Oh my gosh. Time flies. A lot. I mean, I feel like that was like yesterday. I've never owned a DS, which is ridiculous. I have a bunch of uh, SPs. I've got like a couple here and I used to have like two more. Um, <laughs> I've got all sorts of like, yeah, I've got two game cubes. One of them I actually picked up, um, the one that I'm, I've been using for uh, playing games here on my channel. Uh, that one I picked up uh, at a garage sale for $4, and it has a Game Boy player attached to the bottom of it. <laughs> I got it for $4. The Game Boy player itself, um, I didn't have the disc, but I already have the disc. Um, the Game Boy player itself is like 15 bucks, and then the GameCube itself sometimes sells up to 40 to 50 bucks. So I got all that for like two dollars or four dollars, which I think is fantastic. That's a that's a steal. I actually um, oh, do I have enough for another thing? Here we go. Uh, yes, I do. Hello. <clears throat> Why aren't you replying to my letters? Because I can't. How, what is this tin can for? I don't even know what the tin can is for. Do I have to leave it open or something? Do I... I mean, I can click it. What is it? I'm not sure what the tin can does. Um, I don't know if that was worth my time to buy. Who knows? Um... Where was I? I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, either way, let's go back to uh, comic book movies. Did you see the Did you see the trailer for uh, for uh, Civil War that came out? Well, yesterday. Um, it came out today for me because I'm recording Friday videos on Thursday, usually, which you know sounds kind of odd, but that's how I do things. 
Especially if they're gonna be like a really long game like this. I try to record them earlier, so uh, I have time to upload them because it takes a long time sometimes and getting things out by noon on Friday sometimes is pretty hard if the game is over an hour long, like I feel like this one's gonna be. Um, but the, the trailer for, for it, oh, it's, oh my gosh, it's really great. And at the very end, they had the new Spider-Man suit, which was really cool. And it felt awesome, because it was like, I don't know, it was like, uh, it felt like there was, a, like, I was, I looked a lot at it. And Spider-Man, I think, is probably my favorite superhero. I mean, he's, he's cocky, and he's funny, and, uh, do I want to just wait until I get Cat, you know, I can get the Cat for version 3? Maybe I should just wait a little bit, because I know that, I don't know how much these are getting me per second or anything, but I feel like getting the higher one is probably a better idea. I mean, I can always get this, the sh smaller ones later, and once I start getting more money. Um, but I was really looking at the Spider-Man suit. He's got, like, a belt that seems to have the web containers in them, and then I looked, I did, like, pausing, and I could see, like, there's, like, a bat black stripe that goes around the shoulders and onto the back and everything, and he looks a lot like the old cartoons. Hello. From the desk of Dr. Money. We have noticed a distinct lack of you sending us money. For the good of the economy, the East-West conflict has spared, spread to the Far East now, thanks to you. Um, huh, I, I don't think that's true. Um, just, be, just because of me? I highly doubt that. Um, but either way... Oh, Spider-Man. Uh, the new Spider-Man suit is fantastic. It kind of looks like there's like something underneath and they kind of put like padding that was in the shape of the, the thing. So they, the, the lines on the web lines kind of look indented onto the suit, which looks really cool. And then the eyes, they can actually, they have like apertures on them so that he can, uh, focus in. Like he has facial expressions with the lights, with the, with the lights, with the eyes, which, um, I really liked the, the previous Spider-Man suit, the Andrew Garfield one from Amazing Spider-Man 2, because that felt a lot like the comic book Spider-Man. But this new suit looks really nostalgic for like old, old Spider-Man stuff. Um, let's do that. And now they're all 10,000. Um, yeah. I, I, I'd like to see what they do with the, with the, the, with the eye things, because I wonder if He's a, he can do other um, things other than just like squint, I guess, is kind of what he did in the commercial, or in the trailer, was just squint. I mean, that was really cool. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't, at first, when I saw him land on the thing, I didn't like the face that much, because I, I really liked the, the big, big eyes from the previous movie and how expressive they were. But then they squinted, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's fantastic. I mean, I'm really sad that, like, they didn't continue on with those movies, because I really liked the Andrew Garfield movies. I mean, they, they're they kind of like the first two of the original trilogy for me. It's so weird to say original trilogy, and they've been... It hasn't even been that long since the original trilogy. But seriously, I mean, I really wanted to see how where they were going with that. Like, uh... Is the music just looping now? What does the tin can do? I don't know what the tin can do. Uh, let's go back to the original background for a second. Let's go, let's just stay here. This is very nostalgic for 50 minutes ago. Oh, I can almost get a new thing. Speaking of uh, trailers, the... Uh, the Suicide Squad trailer, the second, the second one, or the third one, or whichever one it was, that was set to Bohemian Rhapsody, that trailer was amazing. From the desk of Dr. Money. Consider this your last warning. If you continue your incompetence, you will be missed. Um... I'll be missed? What does that even mean? I'll be missed. Missed. Okay, um... Oh, the, the editing on that trailer was amazing. How they synced up the the everything with the music and the, the, the theme of the song fit really well with the theme of the everything. And then, like, the Joker himself. When I first 
I, I'm, I'm kind of a lot of, with a lot of people. When I first saw that Joker, I wasn't impressed. Because, like, all the tattoos and everything, and I didn't really like that. But as soon as this trailer came out, I saw the Joker in there, and he felt like the Joker. I mean, he looked like him, and, like, the way he dressed, and he had that, like, super gold sword. And then, uh, Harley Quinn, and you get the, the, the new 52 origin of her, where she gets dunked in the acid. Um, the Joker just dunks her in the acid like he did himself, like he got dunked in the acid. And you get to see her before... I wonder, I, I was trying to figure out, like, the movie, does the movie start before she's Harley Quinn? Because that wouldn't, I don't, I don't really know, I feel like that's gonna be like a flashback or something, because it shows her from before, and it shows her getting turned into, like, Harley Quinn getting bleached and everything. So I'm not really sure how that's gonna play out. I mean, oh, here we go. Ten grand. Uh... Okay. Should I just leave that open? I'm not really sure how this thing works. Um... What does the can even do? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Let's see. I guess I can just be doing other things while this is going. Um... Exoptable... Money. Sorry if you can hear my, uh... Uh... Can't... Tin can. Let's see. Um... What's it? Cats... Uh... Let's see. What does the tin can do? Hmm... <clears throat> Let's do, uh, control F here, and... Tin... Can. Okay, let's see. I can buy a tin can. What does the tin can do? I don't know what the tin can does. Well, either way, we'll, uh... We'll just ignore that for now. Because... I don't know. It, it doesn't... It kind of seems like a waste of money, which I'm not really sure what for, but... Um... Can I even send money to... to Dr. Money? I don't even know if that's a thing I can do. Uh, there we go. More. <clears throat> I even helped you make more money, and still you are ignoring me? Please repop... repeat. Please reply. I'm starting to feel like uh, <laughs> a <laughs> presentable liberty here, where uh, there's not really much I can do. Um, I'm just sitting here. I don't particularly like any of these characters, though, because she killed my cat, and... I mean, I didn't like Dr. Money in the previous game, either, anyway. Well, maybe... Uh, maybe I won't be creating the virus, because I... I was almost 100% sure that I was Dr. Money in this one. So, I guess I'm a different person? Or am I the same person? Ooh. Do they pick me up and put me in jail at the end of this? Am I the same... Is this the same guy as the one in the second game? Ooh, that's a that's an interesting thought. That seems, seems possible. Um, but I still can't click on any of these other things. Oh, let's uh, keep that... Save? Um... I'm not sure if the save mechanic is even a thing. Clang, 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 clang. Man, this game is long. I guess this is an idle game, though. <coughs> so, uh... Well, we'll we'll see how this goes. Uh, oh, I've almost got another... Another thousand. Or ten thousand. It's a hundred thousand. It's, whoa, what the... Why is that doing that? Whoa! What the heck? Is it doing on that? It is doing on that side. That is weird. What the? What is even? Oh, that is weird. That is so weird. Okay, well, well, I guess I might as well wait for the... Nah, let's do... 
Ooh. Oh, antidote. From the desk of Dr. Money. Enclosed in this letter, you will find a deadly virus. You can buy an antidote from the shop. For money. I have to use all the money I have? Oh, I can't buy it. I can't buy it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't- I can't buy it. Five hundred thousand dollars for that money machine. Wow. Wow. I can't buy the antidote! I'm, am I gonna die? Uh, am I the same? I feel like I'm not the same person then. Uh... What does this do? <laughs> am I just gonna... Let's just create these little... That is so interesting. That is so weird. Why is that- why does that do that? Wow, that is so weird. Whoa, this reminds me of like, um... I don't know if this does this anymore when your computer freezes up, but... Windows used to do this kind of thing when your... when your computer froze up. Has anybody else played this game? Is this- is this normal for this to happen? Wow, that is... <laughs> this is entertaining. Well, wow, I, I guess I could have been spelling things out, but, uh, who cares. Let's get... that. Fine. Goodbye. Okay, I can't buy it! Oh, is it, like, one above my... I'm gonna have to pause this and see if it's, like, one above my amount that I can... that I can do. That would be interesting. What if I... what if I super slowly slide this down? Oh. Oh yeah, because it would leave like a black mark, because the side of the cursor is black. Wee! <laughs> that is so weird! Why is it doing that? What happens if I... Oh, if I move it, they go away. Huh. That is weird. That is so weird. I guess I can draw things out. Um... Oh, here's what I'll do. Haha! <laughs> um, let's see. Where's my cursor? There it is. Um, hmm. What should I draw out? Should I do... I'm such a weirdo. Okay, let's draw this out here. I'm drawing a moon. If that wasn't a, a glaringly obvious. And... There we go. Look at that. Beautiful moon. It's, it's kind of like an orange moon. There we go. Oh, it's like it's like a harvest moon. That's a game I should play on here. I don't have any of them, but it'd be fun to play. I should I should get a copy of Harvest Moon. I do want to play like what's that Stardew Valley? That game looks fantastic. It keeps getting this this moon keeps getting weirdly shaped. Let's uh There we go. We'll just leave it like that. There we go. We'll just have a moon in the background while I'm playing this. Um, this, that one there. <clears throat> we have noticed that you have not bought the antidote yet. We are obliged to remind you that failing to buy the antidote might result in death. Um, I'm trying to buy the antidote. I can't buy the antidote. Why can't, why won't you let me buy the antidote? Oh my gosh. I have a feeling that, uh... This is going to be super ridiculous. Okay. Um, hmm. I wonder. Should I just fill this in? Let's fill this in. Well, let's fill this in while we're waiting. This is like a nice little uh, pastime to pass the time. Well, what else is a pastime for? I, f I feel like I do. We'll just make this round. We'll make this the sun. There we go. Maybe I should, like, try to do, like, a smiley face in there. Not sure how I would do that, but I guess that could be a thing that I could do. Um... Ooh, could I do, like... If I do super slowly, it'll make a black mark. There we go. Yeah, there we go, look at that. Black marks. And... There, that's kind of like a face. Um... Let's do another one here. 
Uh, nope, this is not working. I need to be slower. Oh, there we go. That's a face. That's a face. There's gonna be a face. Can I get out quick enough? Oh, look at that. There we go. Now I just need to make a smile. And... Oh, nope. Let's do super slow. Uh, that's the... That's a creepy face. That's a creepy face. Let's just fill that back in. Okay, now we can get Kaffir version 5. Hello. What do we have here? From the desk of Dr. Money. The East Waste conflict has ended. There are not enough people to let fight for the respective cardinal direction. In light of these new circumstances, we have lowered the price of the antidote. Thank you. Yay, I'm survived. Thank you for your business. Wonderful. Now what do I do? Well, at least I'm not dying now. I don't know if uh, I don't know if that was such a great idea. Let's uh, let's add some some coronal ejections to this uh, this sun here. If I was patient enough, I would totally uh, give this sun sunglasses, which I always thought was super ironic and hilarious to draw a sun with sunglasses because. What, does the sun need need protecting from itself? I mean, seriously. That's the, the funniest thing ever. I love irony. I'm a very big ironic... I love irony. Irony is the thing I like the most. Like, I don't know, what if Dr. Money were to die by his own virus? This is not a very, uh... Very good sun. I guess it kind of looks decent on camera. It's a sun made out of... Sun made out of clicks. They're pointers. There we go. That's a thing. That's a very interesting thing. My little hair bit is just kind of flowing down here. I feel like I should, like, I don't know, like, do books on tape or something right now. Should I just read something? I have a ton of books over here. I have a ton of books downstairs, too. Um, I have, like, 3,000 books. I have a lot of books. I, I am a huge reader. And huge being a very appropriate word, because I am 6'5". I know that's not super huge, but that's pretty darn tall. I mean, I'm taller than my backdrop, because obviously I'm sitting in a chair. No, I'm standing up. I am just this short. But then again, I guess you guys don't have any uh, reference to how tall I am from just this little camera video here. Okay, what do we have now? Can I get Topaz? There we go. What do we have here? Are you still alive? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm starting to have a feeling that I am the same character from both games. Um, maybe that's maybe that's the thing. That's the that, that might be the thing here. Let's uh let's make a nice, wonderful like striped design over here. Maybe maybe that's a thing we can do. <clears throat> <laughs> Make it look like Charlie Brown or something. Have you have any of you guys seen the new Snoopy movie or the Snoopy the new Peanuts movie? I haven't yet. I wonder if it's any good. Um, I know it's been out on. I mean, it's almost out on DVD now, isn't it? It's not in theaters anymore. But uh, I don't know. I I love the old the old uh, the old movies. <clears throat> they were always really fun, especially like I mean, most of them were holiday themed, weren't they? That doesn't mean they're not good movies. Oh, what is it? Speaking of holiday movies, or holiday specials and stuff like that, like the original Simpsons was a holiday special. Because I think the Simpsons came from some other show, and they used to have like good, like decent morals and things like that in it. They had no ca cartoon gags or anything. It was like a, what do you call it? It was like a, um, it was like a sitcom almost. Just like a, just like, what do you call it? A sit, uh, it was like a cartoon sitcom. Which, um, it wasn't too bad. I used to like watching, like, the old, old stuff. Uh, uh, oh, is that really the cheapest one I can do? This one here? I might as well just wait for Cat Fur 5. Or 6, or whatever there. Alright, if this, uh, if this goes on too much longer, I'm going to, uh, 
I don't know, wait and then skip time or something, who knows. But I feel like, uh, I feel like we're making a, a nice connection here. Uh, you guys are learning about, a lot about, you know, what I like. If, if you guys want to talk about any of the same topics that I've talked about, please talk about it in the comment section below. I'd love to have your input, uh, what you guys think of the stuff that I think of. Um, if that makes any sense, what I just said. I can't wait for Batman vs. Superman. I mean, I used to, I used to feel like that was, like, before, I thought that that was gonna be, like, the biggest movie of all time. <clears throat> all I know about you is your address. Uh, yeah? Perhaps it's time that I came to visit you. All of my family has succumbed to the deadly virus. Oh, is this happening at the same time? I don't know if I like you, actually. You killed my cat. I liked my cat. My cat was fantastic. Um, let's see, what do I get next? Topaz. Yeah, Topaz seems to be the one I should get next. Um, you killed my cat. Why should I like you at all? Um, where was I? Oh yeah, I love having a dialogue with you guys. I mean, I, I love learning about what you guys like and what you guys want to see and things like that. Um, what, what movies are you guys uh, excited for in the future? Um, because, like, Batman vs. Superman, I, I, I used to think that was a super, like, it was gonna break all the box office hits, and it still might. I mean, just because it's the first time Batman and Superman have ever been on screen together in the same movie. And then they're introducing Wonder Woman and Aquaman. I, I feel like, I do feel like by introducing all of those characters all at once, a lot of them should just be cameos, and I kind of hope they are. Um, having Wonder Woman in there does kind of seal the deal that it is Dawn of Justice, because it's the Dawn of the Justice League, which makes a lot of sense. Um, they're kind they're, I feel like they're trying to catch up with, uh, they're trying to catch up with what the Avengers have done, and the Avengers series has done already. Um, yeah, so, uh, at least that's kind of how I feel about it. One thing I've always thought about DC Comics, um, <laughs> I keep switching topics, but I guess there's not really much else for me to do other than just, to talk to you guys. One thing I've always thought about, like, the difference between DC Comics and Marvel Comics is, uh, DC Comics, or Marvel Comics in general, feel more realistic. Um, a lot of it, I know, is fantastical, it's comic books and things like that, but a lot of, it feels more realistic and it feels more gritty, which is ironic because the movies are mostly fun and light, and then the, 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 the DC movies seem to be the gritty ones, which is kind of interesting. I mean, other than Batman, Batman is always the, the grittiest one. Oh, here we go. What have we got? From the desk of Dr. Money. We regret to inform you that the antidote is not working as intended. Oh. Really? I... I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh. Mm. Ah, my throat. Ooh, all this talking is really good for my... Really good for my sore throat. <laughs> But, we'll see how it goes. Oh, I just realized those, uh, those stripes on the one side of the screen look like they're shooting across to the other side of the screen. Oh, I wonder if I could, like, recreate asteroids. <laughs> oh, man. Showing me, like, my little creative side, I guess. Um, what can I do here? Let's, uh, let's extend these out some more. Wee. And oh, that's the edge of the screen. Whoops. And there. And here. And there. There we go. We're extended out. Let's just fill in some more space over here. So there is a storyline in this game, so I feel like there's actually going to be an end. Because I, I know a lot of these, like, uh, these. What do you call them? Um, these, uh, kind of background games, they do have, uh, they, they can just go on forever, because there's another one, uh, what's it called? Um, Monster Clicker, or something like that? Uh, Click, Click Adventure, uh, what is that called? Clicker, Clicker, Clicker Heroes, that's what it is, I think. And it's basically, you just click on the monster, and then you can get auto-clicks and things like that, but the, the monster, the clicker 
that one is that one's pretty fun. I played that one for a little bit too. But none of them have, you know, none of them I felt have been as good, quite as good as Cookie Clicker, because Cookie Clicker is just, <laughs> Cookie Clicker is fantastic. I don't think it was the first one either though, but I do know that it, it feels like the best one to me. So what games coming up are you guys excited for? I'm not really sure what games I'm excited for myself, but uh, there's been a couple here and there. Most of the games that I get really excited for are ones that are already out. Like, um, Stardew Valley and, uh, a couple of other ones. Um, what other ones are there? Uh, Slime Rancher. I really want to play Slime Rancher on my channel. Um, I'd love to get that one. And I know a lot of these are in early access. Oh, there we go. Four grand. Let's get another... Oh, it's getting hard to tell where my... Vital Organs. Okay. The antidote seems to not only stop the virus, but also prevent the functioning of various vital organs. We have a new business offer for you. We will buy any and all vital organs people can give to us. Fantastic. Um, so now I can sell vital organs? That's at a hundred? Oh, I'm almost already at a hundred. Oh my gosh, this is creepy. But I already knew that the vital organs market went up. What is that last one? From the desk of Dr. Money. We have noticed that the organs you are supplying to us are of suboptimal quality due to their organs being a strange magical monkey machine. Anyone who gets an implant dies after two hours have passed. Oh. So my. Wow. So these are where the organs that. the bad organs came from. Was me. Due to this inconvenience, we can now only sell them at a low price. We hope you can rectify this issue by maybe selling us some of your family's and friends' organs. Um... No thanks. Uh, I'm gonna say... Nada to that. What does the can do? It, it, it gives me that can-do attitude. I can do this. It's, uh... I can not sell my friends and family's organs to Dr. Money. Ugh. So, uh, so this is when, wow, actually, this, this game is taking longer than the other one, so, I don't know, these days are passing. But then again, I guess this one must start earlier, maybe? I'm not sure. Ugh, vital organs. Ah, uh, this is progressing the story, so I might as well do it. Oh, that is so creepy and disgusting. Ah, oh, that's so creepy and disgusting. Ah. Uh. But, uh, Undertale is another one that I was super excited for. And I was super excited for that one also, just in general, but, uh, I'm still excited to play it because there's still like two more iterations of the story that we have to go through before we're done. Because there's the neutral story, which a lot of people haven't actually played through on channels and things that I've noticed. Or I mean, I haven't watched a lot of it, but I don't think a lot of people have done just the neutral route. Which I know from what people have told me and from looking up a little bit of information that there is actually story there that you can't get in the pacifist or genocide playthrough. And then on top of that, there's the genocide playthrough. Which I'm looking forward to, but I'm also not looking forward to because I don't want to kill everybody. That's not a thing I want to do. What is the end game to this? I, I, uh, let's just get that. Then that, that'll catch up with everything else. Oh my gosh, what does the tin can do? Okay, well let's let's uh, let's fill in some more of this here while we're while we're waiting. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing. There's also a couple of games that I want to be playing with some other people, or some games I might take another shot at, like, uh, um, Don't Starve. I might take a couple more shots at Don't Starve, and I know that I'm going to be playing, um, I'm going to be playing Don't Starve together with, uh, Lunar Tofu. Um, so that'll be fun whenever I get, uh, an open slot in my gaming schedule. And she's 
got open time to play. So that'll be fun. Um, I do like uh, Don't Starve in general, and I might try another. I might try another go at Don't Starve, because there was story there that I wasn't quite picking up on either. So I mean, there's a lot of stuff in that game. All right, is that enough to buy another thing? Whoa, maximum. I didn't know things could be maxed. Okay, so that's a thing. I am sorry, I have not come to visit yet. Money is slim, and the organs are becoming increasingly expensive. Oh, fantastic. I'm not all that sad for you, though, because you killed my cat still. That's still a thing that you did. And I, I don't appreciate that. Anybody that, uh, anybody that's killed cats... Nope, that's not a... I mean, yeah, no, let's, let's just, no. Uh, so does that mean it, it, everything maxes at 10? Uh, so like if I buy this one at that, it'll be done? Well, we'll find out. It'll, uh, it'll be coming soon here. Maybe, possibly. Uh, let's see, what am I at for everything else? Nine, ten... Six, seven, three. Yep, that's max. So it looks like they max at ten. So that one's got, what, two more? Four more? Three more? A lot more on that one. Okay, so it looks like I just have to wait, and I'm assuming maxing those out is gonna... Well, obviously there's a maximum amount of money I can make per second, so I know that there's an end game here. Um... How much do I need for something else? 500. So the Topaz is the, the cheapest one right now. I might just wait. I might just get that one right away. The money machine. I'm not really sure how much. How much the money machine. <laughs> the money machine is worth it. But I do want to max everything out. Being the completionist that I am. I mean, a lot of my live streams have just been me going back and playing games that I've already played to to finish them. <coughs> Which I think are fantastic. Uh, I've also done a lot of, uh, you know, games here and there, multiplayer things on my live streams. I'd like to do a lot more live streams, but, you know, time doesn't allow it that much. Ooh, I should have brought, like, cough drops or throat lozenges or something. This is going a lot longer than I thought it would. I don't usually record for more than, I don't know, and don't usually record for more than an hour. I should get back into it though. I've I've had a couple of games on my, you know, on Casual Fridays here that have been over an hour. I think I had one that was like two hours, quite a while ago. That was a long time ago. Jeez. Um. Well, let's get a topaz. Those are all five. Everything's five now. So I should just start with the organs because I feel like those are going to be the most. Let's let's fill in some more space down here. I wonder how long it's gonna. This is so weird. I don't know why it's doing this. I feel like it did that. I feel like I've played another game that did this too. Now I have to fill up the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I have I have just a twinge of OCD. Um, there's a couple of other games that I'm gonna come back and do in like a live stream and stuff. Cause uh, Sonic Adventure One, I want to come back and do like a live stream of collecting everything in there. Because at 100%, you get to play as uh, Metal Sonic, which is actually really fun. Which, um, since Sonic Adventure 2 Battle came out before Sonic Adventure DX, which is really weird, um, the model of Metal Sonic is just ripped right out of Sonic Adventure 2. But the only thing is, I don't know why he leans so far forward in the game. And I don't think that's just mine. I think that's... I mean... I, I, I know it's not just mine, but I don't know, he's like, standing like that, or something, in the game. It's really weird. Oh, there has not been any storyline for a while now. And I have gotten a couple of phone calls, but they're not as important as you guys. Uh, they can wait until after I'm done with my video. And we're almost at five grand here. I might need to go get another water. Yeesh. Ugh. Got like a throat sore. 
My voice is gonna be thrashed tomorrow. We gotta take our doggy into the vet for his uh, first checkup. Oh, here we go. Hello. From the desk of Dr. Money. Nice tin can. Thank you. I'm not sure what it does, but I'm glad you I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like my tin can. That wasn't what I was expecting that to say. Uh Alright. I still don't know what the tin can does. The tin can does a thing, but I I think. I'm not sure. Why would he how would he know I have a tin can? These organs are just being generated from my magical monkey machine. I mean, that's kind of weird. Oh, I've almost got this thing filled up. Let's let's do some down filling now. Let's do this way. There we go. Look at that. I'm gonna fill a little square of. Then I got a less smaller and smaller square of empty black space. <laughs> That'd be interesting if I could just use this as my uh, my desktop background. Actually, my desktop background is, uh, Kamina's Grave from Gurren Lagann. On, like, a nice wide panel screenshot. I'll have to post a picture of it sometime, it's really cool. Since I can, uh, it's, it's a super wide, it's a super wide shot. So, I literally just have it spanning both screens. And the, the sword with the flag stuck in it is on the one screen, and then it's just a nice vista on the other screen. Which, I think is very beautiful. Gurren Lagann is, like, eye porn. I mean, that is visually stunning. Like, anything that- anything that that team, like, gets their hands on and works on is just outstandingly brilliant. And a lot of them are a lot deeper than, uh, than they origin- than they first let on. Cause, like, on the surface, Gurren Lagann is just, like, this giant mecha robot fighting show, and then Underneath, it's got a lot of a lot deeper storyline underneath it. Oh, here we go. Uh, I can get another thing. Should I just wait? <laughs> yeah, let's just wait a little bit and get. There we go. Organs. Oh, huh, this is an organ grinder. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I think that's actually what they called, isn't it? An organ grinder. Yeah. Which is ironic. Oh, does that mean I am supposed to be doing this? Does that increase my money faster? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe I could have done this game a lot faster than I did, but, uh... I don't know. I've, I've liked talking to you guys. It's been a nice, uh... Nice little chat here. I gotta fill this in. I'm getting OCD about this now. I have to fill in this little corner over here. Um... And then, what, the, the same guys who worked on, uh, that went on to make Studio Trigger and made Kill la Kill, which was another fantastic show. Um, also just as weird, but just as good. Uh, if not better. I don't know if, uh, I mean, the story is really weird about the whole clo living clothing thing and all that. That's, I guess that was the spoilers, um... But that show was really good. Uh, there we go. Look at that. All filled in. And now I can, uh... I can almost get... I feel like I should just get this money machine just to get rid of it. I'll do that. Let's, uh... And... Money machine. Oh, one more. Never mind. Oh, ten... One million. One million? One million. That's a lot. That is a lot. Oh! Hello. I didn't see you there. This will be my last letter to you. I cannot find the money to buy working vital organs, so I'll have to settle with the cheap ones. Oh no. I mean, I don't really care that much about you. <clears throat> it was wonderful to have known you. Goodbye. Well, goodbye. I mean, I don't feel all that attached to that lady. <laughs> I know that might feel bad. That might sound bad. That might sound bad. Uh, I don't know what kind of accent I just slipped into, but sometimes I just randomly slip into accents, it seems. Uh, let's... I can't hardly see the background now to even change it. Oh, I can, uh, upgrade something. Should I just wait until 10 so I can just get the last money machine and get it over with? 
Uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll just wait a little bit. We'll wait a little bit more. We'll talk a little bit. I'm gonna drink a little bit more of my water here. Which, I feel like I'm gonna have to go get another one. <clears throat> I have watched a lot of anime. I have watched all the anime. And not all the anime. There's a lot of them. It's really weird, though, because I like to... I like to go through lists of anime and just pick out, like, obscure ones and watch the weirdest stuff. And sometimes they end up being really good. There we go. Max. Maxed out. I've only got three more things to buy. I mean, they're a lot of money, but, uh... You know, with, with our little chat here, I feel like this game is going to run, like, two hours long, maybe. This will be a nice, uh... A nice, long game. It's going to ruin my ruin my throat. I thought this game was going to be a lot shorter. Wow. Money is stacking up... Oh! Money's stacking up quick now. I can get... Should I- I feel like I should just, you know, start at the bottom ones and just buy up. That sounds like what I should be doing. Wow, that is going so fast. Seven, eight, nine, ten... That's, like, what, faster than a second? I don't even know, but it's going... Wow. Wow, hello. <clears throat> we have a gift for you. Um... And that would be... What's your gift? Do I want to know? Do I want a gift from Dr. Money? I have a feeling that's not a good thing. Ugh, okay. Alright, 50, 60... Wow, this is going so fast. Oh, one more. One more for that, and that's maxed out. Wow, there actually is an end game here, which is so weird for these idle... These idle clicker style games. Let's fill in some more on this side. Let's uh let's do some filling in here. This is <laughs> this is still really weird. Uh yeah, there we go. Um actually I, I use Hummingbird to keep track of what anime I've watched. And what anime I wanna watch. Um actually I'll put a link in the description if you guys wanna go check out what anime I've watched. And then I guess that'll give us something, some more things we can talk about. You guys can uh, um, request anime for me to watch or things like that, or like we can we can have nice discussions about different anime. Um, that sounds like a really fun idea, at least to me. Oh my gosh, that's going so fast! I wasn't even paying attention. Hello. But before we can reward you, we need to be certain that your production is top notch. Oh, do I have to wait until everything is maxed out? I have a feeling everything has to be maxed out first before you give me this... Uh, whatever it is you want to give me. I don't know if I want it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, there we go, there's another one. Wow. Okay, this game isn't gonna be, like, two hours long. Maybe hour 45 or something. But this is going a lot faster than I was expecting before. There we go. Look at that. We're filling in nicely over here. We're filling out nicely. Seven. Seven. There we go. Oh, hello. <clears throat> we will contact you again once your machine is fully upgraded. I hope you will survive until then. Oh, that's creepy. You're a creepy. You're a creepo. Creepomatic. Alright, I want to fill this in. My OCD is still. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Ow! That hurt. <clears throat> My OCD is starting to kick in again. There we go. That's fully maxed out. Wow. That is so fast. Okay. Oh, is it is it gonna be sending you money? Is that gonna be what your gift is? I have a feeling that's what it's gonna be. It's like, oh. Your machine is fully upgraded now. You can send us a bunch of money. That that's probably what it's gonna be, isn't it? I I bet you anything. We <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm having much more I'm having much more fun with these cursor this cursor here than I should be. There we go. Wow. Okay. Is it weird that the end game is much faster than the, the, the early game in this? Oh, there's another game where the end... I'm, I'm at the end game in RuneScape. I've been, uh, 
I've been just leveling up so that I can uh, finish the rest of the Lumbridge tasks on camera. And then, uh, once I actually upgrade to membership, then I'll do... Then I'll start up another series of that, which will be really fun. I guess that'll be like RuneScape Season 2 or something. What are we running up, like 60 episodes of that? I'm not quite sure. But that'll be a thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, we're running up towards the end of this game here. Ugh. Which is good because my throat is starting to <laughs> my throat is starting to give out on me. Whew, that's not good. At least after I'm done with this, I don't have to talk for the rest of the day. Maybe maybe go train a dog. Because I have a dog to train now. That's a thing. We. I kind of want to have this all filled in before the end of this game. I don't know. I'm. I'm a doof. I'm a doof. Let's fill this in. Come on. Let's fill this in. What's this at? 14? Ooh, we're almost done. I don't know how how much how how much I feel about. Uh... Oh, that is so creepy. Let's put the yellow in the background. That's a nice splash of zombie yellow. Is that what I'm creating here? Is a zombie apocalypse? So, in the other game, the failing organs came from me in this game. So obviously I know I'm not the same person. That'd be really cool to make like a, a sequel to this. Like a, another sequel that takes place at the same time. That'd be cool. I mean, there's a lot of games and movies and stuff that t have sequels that take place at the same time. Um, what other ones? Because, like, let's see. Because, like, the Marvel movies, a lot of those take place on or at the same time. Which, I mean, sometimes explains why the, the, the heroes aren't there to save people from whatever crazy thing is going on. Like, uh, such as... Let's see. Hulk... Uh, Hulk is taking place at about the same time as Iron Man. Or at least, uh, a little bit after or something like that. But they're, uh, they're at about the same time. At least the first- oh! Whoops. I've been talking so long I didn't even pay attention to my money here. Oh. Okay. And I've only got one more upgrade left. And then there's that question mark there, which I'm assuming is the gift that they're gonna give me. Which... I have no idea what it is, and I'm really sorry for talking- for having this water on camera, but, uh... I can't really help it. My throat is, uh... my throat's bad. And this is running up on... an hour and a half. Which will- which is fun. This is gonna be a really long video to... to compile. This rendering is gonna take forever. But at least there's not much happening on screen for... For rendering to need to take a long time. And there we go. <clears throat> From the desk of Dr. Money. We have noticed that you now have upgraded your machine to its full potential. We now you need we now need you to make more money. Lots more money. Um Okay. Do I just sit back and wait? Is that what's going on here? I don't really understand. What does the tin can do? I still don't know what the tin can does. I can't buy anything else. So do I just sit here and wait? Well, I guess that's what I do. I just sit here and wait. Um... I don't know. But, either way... Uh... We'll figure out how this goes. Where was I? Talking about things that take place at the same time, things like that. Um, was it the Giver sequels took place at the same time? I think. I'm not not quite sure. Um, oh, and then there's the uh, the uh, what was it? The Ender's Game sequels, because the Ender's Game Ender's Game was a great book, and then there was sequels to that. And they branched off into all these different stories and things. Ah. Because the Ender himself, the character, goes off into space. And he becomes like a diplomat in one of the future books. 
but the the thing takes like 40 years or something to travel to the alien world or something. I don't even know. There's there's a lot of stuff going on there that I'm not quite sure about. How much more money do I need to make? I mean, what what exactly is my end game here? Oh, that just turns off all the sound. I would like to just turn off the uh Oh, look at that. I can click the I can change the things from out here. Cling, cling, cling. I don't know if that's supposed to be a thing that's supposed to happen, but... Who knows? Oh, is there a spot down here where I missed some... I missed! Let's fill in a little bit there. Get more black. Or less black. There we go, less black. Ha-ha! I filled in everything. Is Do I have to wait for this to get to like 1 billion or something? I have a feeling that's what I'm waiting for. Do I have to give him the machine? Well, I remember at the end of the other game, there was like no one else left alive. Uh, I feel like that's what this is culminating to here. Am I gonna die before the end of this? Am I gonna get more... get any more letters? Um... Well, let's see. What is even this can? I still don't understand the purpose of the can. Is the can gonna be one of those things like at the end of the game where, oh, you have to sit on the street peddling a can? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, is this... is this what... are we gonna... are we gonna get a new... yeah? There we go. Oh, I'm not getting any more money. Oh, my thing is breaking. <clears throat> Look in the shop for your gift. All you have to do is give us all your money. Yeah, I knew it. Can opener. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I see. Thank you for your business. As you have no money now, you are considered worthless to us. For that reason, we will cease all contact with you. Enjoy your can opener. Wonderful. That's just spewing out a... And that's broken. Using the can opener... Oh wow, this is... Using the can opener you bought with the last of your money, you opened the tin can. It contained beans. Um... Are those kidney beans? No, they're not. Those are like baked beans. Okay... Your face lit up and you started eating. The next day you could feel your organs starting to fail. You fail you, and at the end of the week, you were dead. Um... Okay. Well then. That... That was a thing. Madame Sinclair was never seen again. Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were never seen again. Dr. Money continued to make more money and was considered the richest person alive until he too died from the virus he created. Oh, so Dr. Money died. They didn't tell us that in the, en the end of the other story. Well, this was interesting. Um, it was a pretty, it was pretty interesting because there's not, well, I, Accidentally uh, crack crinkling my bottle there. Um, that was interesting. There's not many other games that are like this clicker This uh, idle game type of thing that actually have a story to them I mean some of them have a story, but this one actually has an end game the end You have enjoyed this game if you've enjoyed this game, please vote for it on Steam Greenlight. It would help me out a lot um, Well, yeah, that's about all the time I've got for this episode. That was that was fun I mean it gave us a nice a nice long hour and 40 minutes to talk have a little chat, things like that. But that's about all the time I've got for this episode. A like and favor like the episode. Subscribe if you liked me. Uh, post in the comments section below if there's any other games you'd like to see me play in the comments section below. I just repeated myself, but that's okay. I'm a little tired from my hour and hour, almost almost two hours worth of playing a game. Well, um, yeah, I'll have a link to this in the description below if you guys want to go off and play it for yourselves. Good night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hmm. Do you
dear my friend, or my dear friend, I hope this letter finds you well. How is prison life going for you? I know it must be hard, especially in times like these. As for me, I will soon start another of my journeys into the unknown. Wish me luck, Salvador the Traveler.